where knowledge is king and lady luck is queen. It's time for the final night of the marathon and play the Joker's Wild. And now the real master of the night, Washworks A. And there we go. Welcome to the final night of Game Show Marathon. Our champions, Smash and Zane, are here face-to-face -face, trying to win it all on the Joker's Wild. But unfortunately, this is probably going to be their most challenging challenging piece of trivia that they're gonna have to face off because the categories are probably not gonna be good for them well for some of them actually welcome to after hours flip of a coin bop twist pull roll of a dice food and drink all right smash you have been selected to go first are you ready man yes let's play Joker, roll the dice, flip of a coin. I to go flip of a coin. Heads or tails, my man. Heads. Here we go. You got it. All right, Zane, you're up next to play. Let's go. Let's play. Joker, roll the dice, Joker. Uh, let's go with roll the dice. Absolutely. Odd or even. Um. Well, seeing as I just got off of high rollers, let's just go with even, please. Looking for some evens for the man. Oh, it's odd. Uh. Smash, it's back to you. Pull. All right, pull the handle and spin the lid. Put a drink. Flip a coin. Joker. I'm not sure where the food is going, but I'll go with the coin again. All right. This time I'm sticking with heads. Sticking with heads. Thinks it's going to be good for him. Here we go. Oh. That one just. Wait. Come on, let me get a good flip going. You got it again! Zane. Come on, Zane. Joker, food and drink, Joker. Food and drink, let's go with the food and drink, please. Come on, dude, let's get some money going. All right. Gordon Ramsay is probably one of the most famous chefs in history. He did a prank when he was a digital billboard, and he had one of the contestants finish this dish. Spotted blank. Dick. Yes, that is correct. Spotted dick. Can we say that on YouTube? It's a food. It's a pudding. Of course we can say that. I meant the D word, but still. Of course we can say that. If, as long as it's a food, yeah. Not... Or a playing pyramid. Yeah. But at the end of round but... one, we have a tie going for first place. Sorry about that. Smash, go ahead. I was just... I was about to, re to, re to explain my joke away. Why do I always interrupt Dick at the Clark. Moment? Yeah, I know. That's kind of what we were expecting. Why do I always interrupt at the worst pivotal parts of Smash's stuff? True. But of course, the money's double in round two is what I was going to finish off saying. It's off to Smash to gain control. You ready? And I'm going to spin now. Roll the dice. Joker. Joker. I guess I'll roll the dice. Odd or even? Odd. Here it comes. It's even. Ah. Poop. Zane, it's back to you. Let's go. Spin it. Food and drink. Pop kiss pull. Joker. Uh, let's, get, let's continue with food and drink, please. I'm on it. Okay, so... Burger King has a nasty little clone up in the Aussies. Where... What is that clone's name? <laughs> I don't know. Burger Queen? 
Yeah, that would be where all the fanboys would be going. We were looking for Hungry Jacks! I was about to say, Bow was that I knew the answer to that. And actually, I think Hungry Jack is like Macas in Australia. Licensed, but they had to change their name. Yeah, that was pretty much true with that. Anyway, Smash, it's back to you. No, no, what was the answer? And I'm gonna spin. Hungry Jack. Yeah, it was Hungry Jack. Here we go. Joker, Joker, you didn't drink. I'm gonna go with the food. $400, here is your next one. In cooking practices, what is the safest temperature to leave hot foods in? I don't know, but I'm going to say somewhere in the 70s. In 70 degrees? 70. 76. I don't know. Well, in Fahrenheit, it would be somewhere around... Uh, 135 to 145. That would be the safe point for hot foods if you're just trying to hold them off for, like, servings. Zane, it's back to you. Good luck. Zane. Bot twist pull. Joker, bot twist pull. Um, hmm. Guess we'll go with, um... Buff twist pull. Alright, buff twist pull. Let's let me just ask you a little bit something about Mr. Klitzner over here. Father of Bup. Father of Bup it, amen. Um, Mr. Klitzner Um You know him for his toy Bop It, right? But what toy did he not have a part in make which Bop It did he not have a part in making? Bop It Blast, Bop It Bounce. Or the Bop It XT. Uh, I'm gonna preface this by saying I did, I have not had a Bop It of any type, so I'm gonna say Bop It Blast. Correct answer was the bounce. <laughs> well, nothing's changed really at the end of round number two, but round three we can spice things up. You can really slang that thing now. You don't know the answer to a question? Make them answer it. They don't know it, you're getting the money. And with that, smash. I think it's time that we start getting some money. Here we go. Joker! Joker! Flip of a coin. What was the third one? Flip of a coin. Flip of a coin, and I'm keeping it because... It's only a 50-50 shot. Yeah, that makes but sense. I'm gonna change this to I'm gonna say Tails. Alright, Tails, you think it's gonna juke him out? Tails is right! This is weird, to be honest. All my right answers has come on that category. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, the Let's question, go. the trivia has definitely become harder on this. Joker! Oh boy, Joker! Uh, let's go with it. I'm gonna keep it and say heads. Heads coming up. He doesn't fall for Smash's thing. Oh, it fell on the floor. Sorry, man, it's Tails. Ah! Smash, you got a pretty good lead going. Pull. Roll the dice. Welcome to After Hours. Welcome to After Hours. Okay, I'm going to play strategy here. I'm going to go with after hours, but I'm going to dare him. Oh, I haven't even asked the question first, but let me ask him. Let me ask you the question first, and then you might want to dare okay, him. Okay, I'll see. Okay, so... We all know that Steve failed algebra, and of course... We all know that Steve failed algebra and cox and semen spread disease. Because, of course... Ben had a cock in his ass yesterday. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. This is just after, after hours deprivation. But anyways, here's your question. Um, in the reboot of, Spun of Spinch Bill Travels Half the Globe for a Hat, 
Did they keep the $9 for this joke? Yes or no? Pass. Pass it to Zane. You are forced to answer this. Can you repeat the question? The basic question is... True or false? In the remake of Spinge Bill Travels Half the Globe for a Hat, did they keep the $9 joke? The $9 I'm, for this joke. I'm going to say true. Zane, I'm sorry to say this, but they did not. Smash gets the money. Now, Zane. Ah, man, Zane, you got the worst end of the stick. Three jokers is what's needed right now for you to have a shot at winning. You ready? Let's go. For the win! Food and drink, Joker, Joker, no good! Hey, did I just win a game of marathon? You did, Smash. You did. Thank you, coin flipping. That and is and Pepsi and P Pepsi. Yeah, that's probably what you're probably gonna have for dinner. No. But anyways, I'm more gonna... of a do person anyway. Yeah, but let me tell you, you're gonna face the devil right now. Okay. Okay, Lucifer, I bet you pet dragon over at the tic tac toe board. Yeah, let's hope that the dragon doesn't come up here and just mess it all up. Here we go. And... Great. Screw around with me. You're not screwing around with me. Hold up. Here we go again. I swear, it's either my mouse double-clicking or just not working. 50, 75, 75. There we go. Again. Here we go again. 50, 25, 150. 425 right now. Press. 50, 100, 50. 625 Pull right it. Now. Still going on, 25, 75, 150, 875 currently. I might get on this one, so I'm going to go for it. 25, 25, 25, you just won! That's no triple? Yep, you won by triple. Thank you. Not only and that's you won the first legit show. win I had in a bonus round this marathon. That is right. After the the error and wipeout, the dragon coming up at the last second of Tic Tac Doe, and being the winner of Game Show Marathon, you have won the entire thing. I have no idea Thank what, you. what to say. But for you all, I do. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next video. And be sure to follow the NJ Arcade on Facebook and YouTube for all recreations of your favorite electronic games. So you can rock out.